Welcome back guys to Golden Sun The Lost Stage where trouble is brewing in Alhafra once more as with our return and the repairs of the boat underway it seems Briggs has escaped from the prison so as we head out to kind of see what's going on first of all I want to actually check out his jail cell itself because we always wanted to get back in there that's for sure I'm just standing guard in case Briggs decides to attack the mayor's manor okay then everyone's just kind of keeping themselves separate the mayor was actually singing and skipping when I went to the dock. He seems so pleased. It seems like the way's blocked off to the prison, though. I'm sure it's just a coincidence, but whenever you show up, trouble happens. Well, yes, it seems like the entire path is leading us straight along here. No going to the prison to check things out at the moment, then. Let's find out what's going on here. Well, it seems people are being laid out by the pirates. Oh, ow! Briggs' pirates, they attacked us and the ship, the ship! Yes, it seems to be kind of missing, stupid Briggs. Briggs said the boat was his, and to be honest, they had paid us for it, but... Why do these things always happen to me? I just came down to see the repaired mast and they jumped on me from out of nowhere! Briggs! Briggs, where are you taking my boat? He's attempting to steal it! Thief! Thief! Did you call me a thief? I paid for this boat fair and square! I'm no thief! You're the thieves! You tried to take our boat away after we paid you so much for it! You're the one who stole our boat! Ahoy, Briggs! Oh, it's Felix! You're not afraid of them, are you? Look how far away they are! There's no way they can catch us now! You're right! They're stuck on the land and we've got this boat! They can't catch us! <laughs> what would they do? Swim? Ha! You're right! They can't board us from way over there! Quick to the boat! Wasn't there something you wanted to do the next time you saw Felix? Don't tell me you forgot! It's all you ever talked about when you were in jail! Oh, yeah! I almost forgot! So now's your chance! Do what you swore to do! Blah! the best you could come up with. But Chowcha, they're an awfully tough bunch. See, it's that attitude right there. That's why you'll never amount to anything. You know what? You're right. Hey Felix, you guys take care. And keep Al Hafra safe from thieves and pirates. And politicians too. What? Dad will ever meet again, but if we do, remember this! Nina 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 Blah! That may have been a bit much. If you make him mad, he might chase us right back to Champa! <laughs> I feel like doing just that right now. What? You let Briggs get away? How was I supposed to stop him? You and your friends talk a good game, but when trouble happens, where are you? Oh, you're not talking to us. Well, isn't this a fine mess? My prize ship stolen by a bunch of filthy pirate scum. Oi, you can't really go around doing that. Get up! What? They're gone, and you let them escape! You guys have royally botched this one. This ruins everything. You all ought to be ashamed. All of you were cowering. Well, I was the only one to stand up to them. All of you. I'm going back to my manor. It's you, Felix. I'm extremely disappointed in you. There's not much we could do. There will be no reward for you, Felix. 
You let that brick steal my ship? You're lucky I don't lock you up in his stead. Bah! I've had enough of this. Don't just stand there with your mouth gaping. Get out of here! We don't have a boat, so there's no reason for anyone to be here at the port. Return to town! Well, what a lout! What an awful person! Do you suppose he's always this self-centered? Yeah, probably. Yes, he's terribly irritating. You're quite right, Felix. I'll wager Briggs is returning to Champa personally. Well, it doesn't matter. I think I've had enough of this town. Shall we be leaving? I guess we shall. Great, let's leave as soon as possible, shall we? Now let's chase him down, but apart from that, let's check out things that we noted way earlier. I want to find my way into the prison now that people are no longer blocking me. Out the way, sir! Alright, the Alhafran Cave no longer needs to be open or is open still. Really? Before I knew it, Chouch just stole the keys to the gel, and Briggs and his crew had them! I never looked away, not once! I never let my guard down! How did this happen? No matter how many times I go over it, nothing seems right! I'm just not convinced! Wait a sec! Eolio have a hand in this? He was standing behind me the entire time! I'm always gonna have trouble with Eolio's name! But that... that... that there... That's what I'm interested in, that's shiny as well, so we can definitely get into this prison! I don't have a key. The key's somewhere now. Hmm. Where's the key got to? That's what we're really interested in this point in time. If Chaucha has the key, then I guess we meet up with Chaucha, so that gives us another reason to chase them down to Champa. Apart from that, is Alex still in the inn? He was the one who was kind of like saying, go help them out, or, you know, you can help them out if you want. No, he's not. Legend said that Crossbone Isle could be found in the middle of the Carigal Sea. Ah, Crossbone Isle. Wait, did you say could? Is it not there anymore or something? Well, it's still there, but there's no point in going. Someone named Ollis picked it clean. What? He took all the treasure? Yeah, and apparently, he even defeated the ancient ghost pirate protecting it. What about the stories that if you beat the ghost pirate, you would become the leader of all pirates? Well, you see, that means that Ollis is our leader now. Wow, just like that? I bet he's pretty tough. No doubt. But you know, he must be a reliable guy too. You think? He'd have to be to beat that ghost. That's why we're looking for him now, remember? If he's looking for a pirate crew, he can count me in. Well, it seems that my past character incarnation has gained himself a fleet of willing pirates. Doesn't that mean that he's in control of, like, Briggs and all that, maybe? But I can't believe we can't get into that location. I want in! I want in! Well, let's go find Chowcha and see if we can get ourselves a key. There's definitely a way in there, and there's definitely shinies to get. Now, let's head along this way, which is where I've managed to park my boat in order to get going here, so... Champa it is. So Champa's got to be somewhere that we have not been yet, so it's not going to be on this bit. So likely, it's either here, wherever here is, or up further here. I am very interested in down here, though. If we were to go clockwise again, I would go to there first, really. Right, should we leave it for now? Go for the big mainland, because big mainland usually reveals a little bit more, doesn't it? After all, the big mainland that was down here that got us all the way to the Tundalia Tower. Right. Lots of sailing as the voice effects wore off, which means, of course, battle can happen once again. How far away are we? Quite far indeed. Let's just keep sailing and expect the battle to come for us as we do.
Not, oh, I was about to say, not a battle yet. I was surprised. And then it actually did happen anyway. Everyone attack, because you should be able to take them all down in one fell swoop. Nicely done. Urchin Beast Party goes down. And we are halfway to New Mainland. As we reach the Blue Shores, where are we now? Right then, so... Dead end this way, it seems. We want to go further up. To be honest, there's no actual definitive that there's something here. Flash Force takes out that foe, no problem. 111 experience and 111 coins gained. It's probably easier to go by sea. And we find ourselves a town. A town that is known as Champa. Right, we're coming straight for revenge, sir. Apart from that, straight away there, there's a circle of rocks, which always means treasure. Alright, we got ourselves a Viking Helm. How good is that? Alright, so it ups defense and lowers attack on Felix. Resists water, so we'll give it over to you, sir. Have a Viking Helmet. And we'll continue exploring. Oliz! Oliz? I'm not Oliz. Oh, I am Oliz, but that was really confusing. Oliz, is it you? Do my eyes deceive me? Yes, it is me. Well, actually, I'd have to say no, but the question is, do my eyes deceive me? Which would be a yes answer, wouldn't it? Yes, your eyes do deceive you. Which question am I answering here? Well, I'm assuming it's the no answer, though I am Oliz, indeed. No, you are not Oliz, are you? Young lady, are you looking for someone by the name of Ollis? Yes, old man. I'm looking for one called Ollis. Where is Ollis? I'm sorry. Ollis isn't with us. Well then, where can I find Ollis? Why do you want to find him so badly? Me? I am Faye Ollis helped me once. He helped Ulmuk. Ulmuk was trapped, but Ollis saved him. He's a brave man, isn't he? I suppose, but why are you looking for him? Do you like him? Is that it? You're a mean old man. It is not polite to tease me. That's what it is. You like Ollis? No, I'm so embarrassed. Don't worry, Faisy. We'll tell Ollis how you feel. I... really? Then, will you give him this when you tell him? What's that? What is it? Oh, this is on a dangerous journey. I'm worried about him, so I made him a good luck charm. Ah, a good luck charm. I see. I'm going home now, old man. Thank you for doing this favor for me. What is it, then? We got ourselves a golden ring. That looked more like an armlet than a ring, to be honest. So what is this? Right, raises elemental resistance, does it, when used? Does it actually have any stat apart from that? That's the real question, it doesn't seem to. If I equip it though, if it's a ring, then I wouldn't be able to use it on you. Do you have a ring on you? Who doesn't have a ring on? I guess you don't. No, you did have a ring on. What ring did you have on? Restores 160, oh, it's like a kind of cure ring, isn't it? So let's give that over here, and then put that on you then. Okay, that took off a ring as well. Everyone's pretty much got a ring then. Right, maybe I should just actually do what someone's been saying all along and arrange the inventory so we can actually see in order where it is. Though I never really thought it all that necessary at that point in time. So your ring was a guardian ring which increased HP and defense which I'd rather use to be honest so then the golden ring we got spirit ring on you as well to be honest we got tons of rings ring ring I can see a ring there oh, no is that a gem rather than a ring there burst brooch pound cube it doesn't look like you've got that Right, I'd have to say that we finally equipped rings on every character with that done. Let's read this sign and go, Champer ahead! Okay then, that may be Champer ahead, but I'm wondering what else is going on here. Oh, I shrunk! 
Father's acting like a child and it seems he quit his job. He plans on lounging around at home. If father sits around the house, he will lose all respectability. It's better to fish than to do nothing. When Briggs returned with the jewels, the adults quit working. I hope I don't become like them. Quitting their jobs makes the adults just like us kids. It's getting really weird around here. It's true, it's true! Briggs did return with the jewels! He's really going to have more friends than he did before. Briggs is a hero for saving the village, but will father lose his motivation to be productive? We don't need to live off fish anymore, so we don't need any fishermen, do we? That does it. I'm not working anymore. What would be the point? I'd rather spend my time sleeping than passing and chasing fish that can't be caught. Why go after food when Briggs can give it to you? I don't know, being self-sufficient is probably a little bit better than not. Just in case, you know. It's not bad to have a skill like that. Alright, another tent. While I'm grateful for the food, it's somewhat annoying knowing that Briggs saved the day. I should just sign up with Briggs' crew and stop all my complaining. I hope my shipmates would never forgive me if I bell on them like that. I hear that Briggs sold the jewels he found for cash and then acquired a boat. And nerve of that Briggs, he's gone for a bit and he comes back in a bigger boat. I bet he only did it to show us up too. Briggs really saved our hides this time, but I'm not about to join his crew. Yeah, maybe I do owe him for this, but I'll find a way to pay him back legitimately. I refuse to live in the cliffs, and therefore I am against Briggs. I've accepted his food, but that is as far as I will let myself slip. Is there anything to reveal and find here? Well, it seems there's an outside faction of Champa on top of everything. Mind you, it doesn't seem like there's any goodies out here, apart from, of course, the Viking helm that we'd found. What's going on here? Well, Barbara is the last possessor of the ancient secrets of Ankol, a long lost civilization. There's nothing she can't fix, no matter how broken it is. She's quite the blacksmith. Does she deal with rusty weapons too? Is a Barbara in a good mood now, or what? I noticed the change as soon as Briggs returned. If you've got something to ask her, now's the time to ask. Now nobody has to do anything. He or she doesn't want to do. We owe Briggs a lot of thanks. Nobody really likes to play the role of a pirate. I'm sure everyone is glad they don't have to anymore. Alright, as we continue to enter champ, there's tons of people to talk to. Briggs came back with a giant load of food. I've never been so full, it feels great. Briggs is so generous. He told me to eat and eat and eat, so I did. Those bags are full of food for the people of Champa. Briggs gave them to us. Oh, you've got nothing to mind, Reed. Your mind is empty, young one. All of our stockhouses are so full of food that they've just left the extra out here. Briggs fought the odds to bring us jewels and food. He's an amazing leader. I think we should build another storehouse. If Champa gets enough money, maybe we can stop with the looting and pillaging. Maybe we can find something in all these boxes. Maybe they'll be sparkly. But apart from that, it seems there's a lot on the screen, so slow down took place then. Right, okay, we definitely found something there across the Lashy Bridge. So let's go across here first before doing anything. Up and over, it seems we've got running water as well. Felix, check the wooden box. And got a smoke bomb for our troubles. Don't talk to me about food. I feel like I'm going to be sick. Ed too much. Oh, I was so full and I just kept eating. I think I'm going to explode now. What's going on here then? I've been wondering about finding a chief for Jamba since we don't have one. If so, then Briggs would be the favorite since he's given so much to the village. A new image for Jamba will reflect the time we live in. Any new visitors will like it. We village elders have guided Champa for so many years. Yes, times are changing. Perhaps it's time Champa's leadership was given to the sailors. Observing Briggs recently, the limits of Champa as a village are very apparent. From now on, the village will develop through trade. I guess that's the area we've come to. Trade? Is that what you think's been going on? I really don't think it has been. Piracy is the life for him. Slow down, look at it go. And it seems we've come to the shop. Apart from that, there's a boulder right there. I want to play with the audio, but he never comes down to the harbour anymore. Hmm. Can't push it. Right then, shop it is. Anything within? No, but no slowdown when you're in someone like this. Welcome, welcome. If you need it, we've got it. See anything you need? What do you sell? Ah, bargain hunter, eh? Nothing but great deals here. Right. We could buy a sham shear, which, you know... Not really worth buying these weapons, is it? Anything new appeared? Demonic Staff unleashes bad omen? Nah. Blessed Row replenishes HP. Basically, we've got ourselves at a point where 
We're not really looking to buy much anymore, are we? I mean, even sold a clear bracelet over here, the bone armlet. We've got a ton of coins because of what we've been doing, but not much really extra to buy at this point. Master Rabia, Great Axe, Plate Mail, Silver Armlets, all these basic things without boosted stats on them means that we kind of stay clear of them. I guess we could sell some stuff in the meantime, but we do wonder what else is going on in town. The Jules Briggs found are truly remarkable. I wonder if there are any more like these in that cave. What cave? Briggs men said they found amazing weapons and things in the cave too. Wish I'd been there. Would like to have seen them. Ooh, I'd like to learn more of this cave. Thanks to Briggs, the champ can eat again. Fortunately, all that food is going to run out someday. Then what do we do? Especially with your fishermen stopping fishing. Now's the time we ought to be working hardest while we can eat. Champa can flourish. Indeed, that is the point. So we've come to Champa after dealing with all the business in Anhafra. We're chasing down Briggs. And we're pretty sure to meet him very shortly. Join me next time for more Golden Sun The Lost Age. And I'll see you around. Bye-bye.